How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Adventure Quest video and for this week's video we are going to be going through the Grand Walk Festival. Okay, so the Grand Walk Festival is finally around and I know what you guys are probably wondering why is the Blani War still around? I'm wondering the same thing but we are super duper close to finishing it. In fact, it is 92%. I think we should be able to finish it by next week or somewhere between uh, this week and next week, okay? So 8 more percent to go, um, I know a lot, some people like it that it is a slower paced war whereby they can take their own time to go ahead and get the wins that they want. Okay, and then there are some people who don't like it because it's been too draggy. But the staff has said that they uh, have taken this into consideration and they will work towards improving this new system of wars and you know, Hopefully when they do that, uh, next time around when they implement this sort of war whereby you have two sides, then it will be uh, much more improved. Alright, so enough of that. Grand Walk Festival. So we need to get 5,000 eggs, I believe, to go ahead and uh, get the new items. Alright, so we are going to go on the egg hunt. And to spring a trap, I already went through that, so we will not go through that anymore. Uh, baby Grand Walk is being tricked by a camouflage egg, gob egg gobbler. Egg gobbler. Do you want to try and save the baby Grand Walk? Okay, so... Uh, from what I remember, if you don't save it, you still get candy. If you save it, they'll take some candy from you and then they'll give it back later. So I think it's pretty much the same, if I'm not wrong. So we'll try and save the baby Grand Walk here. A Gobbler Jr. Okay, so this one is Earth. We'll go inside Echo Transformation. Ultra Guardian Shield, let's get started. Alright, so it's weak to wind or light. Ooh, hit me with darkness. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's interesting. Uh huh. I think we can use wind to help restore some SP. And then we will probably use light, okay, because we want to take care of this guy pretty quickly. I don't know if he will continue to hit me with the What do you call that? The darkness attack or not. I hope he doesn't. Right, so armor will switch back to the uh Neko transformation armor. Let's make sure that he is attacking for light damage. Alright. So let's see. You want to do light or win pets? I think it's better if we do light. We can try and inflict the choke on him so it doesn't do as much damage to us. The weakening, the aging, I mean. Okay, so we'll turn on everything for this. And items, I think we can do Arya's Rattle. Let's boost up our pet damage. And let's attack. Nice. Okay, weaken. Lucky strike there. That's not too bad. Two misses. That's a bit unfortunate. Now he hits with ice. Okay, I think they are pretty random, right? Camouflage as an egg. This specially evolved creature is adapted to lure in Grand Walks who only eat eggs. They may be responsible for taking the Grand Walks to the brink of extinction. Okay. Come on. Why does my character keep missing? Damn it. You have angered the little egg gobbler's parent. You you can has trouble. <laughs> okay, and we got 440 eggs. That's nice. Egg gobbler senior. Okay. So let's switch to a darkness armor this time. Shadow walker of time. And we can stick with light, right? Yep, let's stick with light. And items. Let's use Arya's rattle. Let's attack. Endures the accelerator aging. Okay. Ooh, and we got a bleed from the shield as well. Very, very nice. Two hundred and fourteen of your eggs. Oh yeah, the egg gobbler can gobble your eggs. And somebody said that there was some sort of visual glitch or something regarding the eggs. I think there was a visual glitch. Okay, because I didn't have any eggs, and I don't know if you actually gain any eggs from killing the egg gobbler or something like that. Right, I'm not entirely sure if it's been fixed yet, but uh, we'll just continue, okay? I think we need 5,000 eggs to open up the shop. One thing that I want to see change is, uh, don't, I don't know how they can implement this, but it's always been, some, uh, this is actually prominent inside of Dragon Faber as well. For the seasonal event shops, like the Moglowin shops whereby you need candy to open, or the Grand Walk shops whereby you actually need eggs to open. 
Like, uh, it's kind of, I don't know how to say, annoying that you have to spend eggs just to open up the shop. And if you open up the wrong shop, then you actually, uh, the eggs are actually spent. Maybe have it, I don't know if there's a way to code it into a system such that if you did not buy anything from the shop, then don't deduct any eggs at all because it makes no sense, alright? Uh, save the baby grand walk and got some eggs. Nice. We'll replace current guest. Nah, we are not taking him with us. Uh, back to town. Let's heal up. Forgot if there's a way to heal up here. We still have our eggs, right? Yep. Oh, we can eat some eggs to heal also. One looks out of place. And the eggs parents doesn't seem to... Doesn't sound happy. Let's try and outrun it. Tyranno Chicken Rex. Okay. Jump to avoid obstacles. Right. This mini game again. Man, uh, I kind of suck at this. And of course, there is a weird visual glitch here. You can see. I don't know why it is a black line on the screen. Ooh, that was a close one. Are we reaching the end yet? It's probably faster to just fight. <laughs> but you know, I want to showcase all the different things that you can do inside of this quest. I hope I don't screw up. Sometimes I do screw up because I just suck. <laughs> okay, and looks like we made it. Did we make it yet? Come on, come on. A little bit more. Ooh, another close, close call. And yes, we did. Nice. Half half wees, gotta catch my breath. Who knew egg collecting could be so hazardous? I hope I don't run into any more of those. Now I just need to find out where I am. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going and nothing looks here. And nothing around here looks. Why hello giant power of eggs, have I got a nice home for you? Win. Nice. Okay, so yes. Ooh, three Wow, that was like two thousand over eggs. Very, very nice. Let's continue. Ooh, do we get this again? Uh, let's try and fight it this time around. I wonder if we get the same amount. Let's see how difficult the fight is. 9,000 health. Alright. It is still okay, I guess. Not too bad. We can use our soul neckle so it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be that bad. Okay, Haunted Dragonauts will. Let's get started. See, you want to hit him with Earth. Alright, so Earth, I will switch to Robo Cockatrice. Then I will use Gemini Pendant. Enough of this lag. Alright. Blade of All. Maybe we can get lucky and get the, what do you call that? Uh, power word die? That'll be funny though. Petrify? I could use Cracked Ornament and try and Petrify, but... Nah, I think it's fine. Let's see if we just get lucky. Ooh, we do get lucky. Very nice. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to use my... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Use a wind weapon, okay, because this will help me regenerate SP as well. Nice. And you hit the SP attack. Ah, that's not so bad. And then our Robo Cockatrice did a lot of damage. With that wind nuke, so very nice. This has some amazing synergy, by the way. 290 burn. Okay, no special from the Blade of All so far. Come on, give me another Petrify. 11.5 burn, yeah, this should definitely kill him. Bam. Oh, 212 only? Really? Okay. And done. I guess battling him is slightly faster if you want to, if you can nuke him and stuff like that. Oh, oh, but you don't get as many eggs. Only 345 eggs. That sucks. Okay. Guess it's better to try and run. Uh, yes, of course, one egg looks out of place. Let's run. The mini game does take a little bit longer, but the reward is definitely way more worth. Over 2,000 eggs. 
just for playing the mini game as compared to only like what 200 eggs for like uh battling the monster instead so yeah i highly recommend just playing the mini game if you get lucky and you get like a few mini games in a row then you can hit your eight quota really uh really really quickly wonder what happens if you screw up not that i want to screw up on purpose but I wonder though, do you like automatically fight the monster and like do you still get the uh, big power of eggs or not? Okay, let's jump. Almost there, almost there. Really close now. One more obstacle and we should be there. Nope. Okay, should be there now. Come on. And yes, here we are. Nice. Win. Oh yeah, this is definitely the fastest way to gain eggs. Alright, egg trade. Let's see, permanent shops. Uh, right, now I need to look at the shop to see what is good. Okay, 5,000 eggs per shop. So I'm going to be very careful here on what I am... Uh, what shop I'm opening? There is the Hair Razor Magician, which is a fully offensive water armor, light secondary, focus on magic blocking. Mastercraft effect is skill compression, which is activated by clicking the egg the character holds during the idle animation. This causes you to pay 40% melee in SP at the end of your turn and grant yourself a plus 24 MRM uh, for one turn. If using the Hair Razor Blade, then this instead gives plus 27 MRM uh, for one turn. Z versions are okay. Interesting. So there's Z token versions as well. Hair Razor Magician, huh? I don't see it here. Uh, yeah. Okay, here it is. Okay, I'll go through the other stuff here. There's a Grand Walk Slayer armor as well. It's a fully offensive earth armor with water secondary resist, melee focus for blocking, uses Mastercraft bonus and pace. Minus six to MRM to have a twenty percent chance to deal extra seventy five percent damage with. All weapon attacks, special spells, magic weapons gets a 0 0.75 times uh, for the boost spells get a 0 0.5 times uh, boost. Okay, Z versions, blah blah blah. And then there is the Mighty slash Mystic Hair Razor Blade. Okay, it's melee and magic swords, neutral damage and accuracy leans, normally has no special and simply deals extra 5% damage. But you can toggle it to change the attack to a bow-like special that does 4 hits and attempt to inflict water elemental vulnerability on the mob and generic elemental vulnerability on the player. Both of these inflict with player uh, strength slash luck for melee and intelligence slash luck for magic versions with the player and mob resisting with charisma slash luck. Uh, there's a barrage of blue bunnies and the player and mob both are forced to resist being affected by the cuteness and lowering their guard. This attempts to inflict uh, something something blah blah blah. Okay, so in my opinion, I this is like a high risk high reward type of blade. And even then it is not definitely not as good as like your uh, blood blades. Okay, simply because of the fact that you have to... It inflicts elemental vulnerability on you as well. I think it's quite interesting that they come, they are coming out of these new and interesting items, even though they are not best in slot. But if you don't have something like a Prime Chaos Orb, then maybe you can con or like the Zifinity Power Gauntlet. Then maybe this is something you can use to inflict element uh water elemental vulnerability on the monster. Keep in mind this uh the water elemental vulnerability is for the monster but for your character there's a chance for you to get a generic elemental vulnerability which means it renders you vulnerable to all elements whereas for the monster it only renders them vulnerable to water so in that regard this is already not such a great item because there is a trade-off as you can see and the trade-off is pretty huge also keep in mind that uh the elemental vulnerability on the water elemental vulnerability on the monster is going to be slightly stronger than yours because that is for one element whereas yours is for all elements but in my opinion i think the trade-off is not really worth getting the blade and because this is five thousand eggs i don't really want to replay the entire thing even though it's pretty fast but i think i will pass up the blade okay grand walk slayers chopper slash cleaver slash one melee wind x melee darkness sword and magic earth one sword one have Neutral damage accuracy leans, X has a one third base and minus three BTH lean. All three of these have the insanity shot effect the Grand Walk mob does, which means a 20% chance to deal extra 25% damage. This is quite similar to the werewolf armors uh, from the golden gift boxes. 
Melee weapons have normal 20% proc specials, the one has no true special. I don't think it's a great weapon in my opinion, obviously outclassed by the uh, Blood Blades if you have them, and even then they are outclassed by stuff like uh, Zabrua's Hammer, the Thorn, Thorn Rose's Blade, your Sacrogon Spur, all those kind of stuff, you know, because this is not a 100% chance to deal extra damage, and 20% chance isn't exactly that great in my opinion, so I think you can pass up the weapon as well. And there is a pet, Bound Slash Mini Grand Walk. Okay, Darkness Earth Pet, 0 0.6 randomly, neutral accuracy, lean toggles between 5% damage melt, uh, damage dealt Mastercraft, and a status Mastercraft. Status attack pays 50% pet damage plus Mastercraft. Okay, and has a minus 20 save. Okay. Uh, oh, inflicts bleed. Okay. I think you can pass up on the pet as well, it is not that great. There are better darkness pets out there for sure. Earth pets, not that many, unless you're a spender. If you're a spender, you have stuff like food dog, you have stuff like robo cocker trees. But in my opinion, if you really want to get a pet from here, then probably get the nerfed pet. In my opinion, that is slightly better than this uh, because of the effects that you can inflict. So I think the only thing that's worth getting is probably the hair razor. Armor. Keep in mind that if you have the hair razor blade equipped, then you get extra 3 MRM when you use the skill. But then again, how many people will be using the uh, water weapon again in against a water monster? You know what I mean? Unless you have Prime Chaos Orb or you just want to scramble their resistances. So I'm just going to open up the hair razor shop and showcase the armor for you guys. Uh, this one is good if you want to play a dodge build. And this is, I would say it is not as great as your, what do you call that? Your ghost costume, because ghost cost, uh, this is f like a fully offensive ghost costume in my opinion. So yeah, if you guys want to play a defensive build, then you should definitely get this. I'll get this simply because I think that uh, if I ever want to build, uh, play a defensive build in the future, at least I know I can. Alright, so we'll get the Hair Razor Magician. And obviously I am out of uh, armor space, so I'll buy a new armor slot. 60 armors now, alright, great. Let's get the hair razor magician. Ooh, the blade is in the same shop though. You know what, I'll probably get the blade as well, since they are in the same shop. I Normally I wouldn't bother because that means I have to open up another... Uh, get another 5,000 eggs, but since they are in the same shop and since they have a stacking effect I'll get it just in case, you know, just in case. You never know when you might need it. And it doesn't hurt uh, to just get it right since it only costs us gold. It's not a big deal. So bring this up. And other than the blade, what else can we get? Uh, house items, painting, I don't think I'll get those. Faces, I don't think I'll get those either. Right, so we'll get the... Magic version or the mini version? I assume you can upgrade this or change the form inside of the item upgrader. So just get one. If you change your mind and want to play a warrior later on, when you've bought a magic version first, you can do so and uh, vice versa, you know. Alright, make more vulnerable to damage. Let's buy this. Oh, weapon inventory full. Right, 97 weapon slots. This is crazy. Uh, let's buy. Oh man, we are going to be straying away from the magic number, guys. Sad day indeed, but you know, have to do what I got to do, right? All right, let's buy this, and done. So Grand Walk Slayer not worth getting. Hair Razor, if you want to play a defensive build, uh, you can try and get that. Okay, so we'll heal up. I think it's good for those who don't have the uh, ghost costume. I don't think I have the ghost costume. I'm not sure. And I can't remember if the ghost costume is rare or not. If it's not, I probably want to get it in my inventory at some point. Not because I want to play a dodge build anytime soon, but because it is uh, one of the best items for playing a dodge build. And if there ever comes a day where I want to try it out, at least it will be there, you know. So I'll bring this all the way up. I think that one is a Moglowin Seasoner. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to check the info subs for that. Uh, let us check out the Hair Razor Blade as well as the armor right now. Okay, let's go to the stat, trainers, combat practice. And alright, let's just start battle. Okay, so I'll call off my guests and I'll call off my pet as well. And then we won't use a shield, just want to see what armor is in its full form. Alright. Ooh! Oh! 
Oh my gosh! Wow, very flashy looking armor and I like the animation. Holy crap! Guys, this artwork, it is very unique and wow, I actually like it. I actually like the artwork. Sure, it doesn't fit into the whole adventure quest team, but I actually like the artwork. Wow, this is amazing. Well, what can I say, guys? 47 uh, melee magic blocking, 55... Uh, 47 melee and range blocking, 55 magic blocking. Strong against water, 39%. Secondary to light, 42%. Then your tertiary will be your fire, wind, ice at 71%. And then you have your earth and darkness at 86%. And it's weakest to energy at 96%. Fully offensive armor. Okay, so let's just try and attack. He will use a something without a special, I guess. Oh my gosh. Wow. So it's a 3 hit armor and you just spawn the magic blades out of your hands. Wow, the, the staff really outdone themselves, man. Oh my god. You know how I'm always complaining about how there are no fanciful quest animations, but man, this is... This is just beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I freaking love it. Okay, can you not cast a skill? I thought you had a skill. No, no skill? Is there something you can click to cast a skill? Oh, there it is. Okay, so click on the egg to cast a skill. Alright. Spend 157 SP at the end of your turn to grant yourself a 24 boost to your block rate. Cool. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, 3 hit. And it does melee, so it respects your weapon's uh, type. Okay, now let's try with the weapon, shall we? Mighty Hair Razor Blade. So you get 27 MRM now. You can stack it with Legendary Shadow Crystal Rock Day. And a bunch of other blocking pets. The one that I can think of is the... What is that? The the Legion Blade that was floating around. If you don't have Pig Drake or something like that, I think that would be good. Recently, we've seen quite a lot of stuff for Dodge Builds. Dodge Builds have been getting quite a lot of love recently. I like that. Okay, and there was a recent pet inside of the... Golden Gift Box shop, I think. Was it a pet or a guest? I cannot remember. Oh my gosh. It's just very recently, I covered it on the channel. But it's good for blocking, for dodge builds. Man, this is really cool. Okay, so we'll turn this off. Stop the conjuring of illusory bunnies for some reason. Okay. Uh, can we click on the blade? Blue bunny stampede on your foes when you attack. Rendering them vulnerable. Yeah, 125% to us, 130% to them. So it's 5% more. Interesting. Does it stack one round? Uh, both last for one round, so there's no way of it stacking. You can just click on it to toggle. It respects your weapon special. And yeah, it still gives you the defense boost. Cool. Okay, I, I see where the synergy is with this armor. And uh, with this entire set, basically. So you use this to deal more damage to your foe, inflicting water elemental vulnerability on them. Okay, and this is a fully offensive armor, so it'll be doing more damage. At the same time, you use this to raise your defenses, so that uh, the downside, which is uh, your elemental vulnerability, is you sort of use it to counter your... Uh, or offset the downside of the weapon. If the monster can't hit you, then the elemental vulnerability doesn't matter. That being said, it is still a little bit risky if you're not stacking super high MRM, but uh, in my opinion, yeah, I think the synergy is not bad. And all in all, I'll definitely recommend uh, this for players who want to try dodge builds out. And I really like the artwork as well. Overall, I would give this set probably like a uh, 8 out of 10 for both the synergy and the artwork combined. Very nice job, uh, staff. I really like the set. So yeah, that's going to do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Korriban Gaming. Peace out.